Hello everyone! This tutorial is about how to model an open-end branch using Autodesk Inventor. This model is very simple and all the modeling tools I'm going to use are basic and easy. In particular, I'll use some extrusions to create the main body of the branch, then some fillets and emboss in the mirror operation. Let's start by inspecting the model I've already created. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to model it from the beginning to the end, step by step. As usual, the browser menu shows all the features used to create the model. First of all, there are some extrusions. Both the first and the second one share the same sketch and create the main body. The first extrusion creates the new solid body. The second one adds some volume to that body by using the Join Boolean option. The third extrusion uses a slot profile to subtract some volume from the main body of the branch. A fillet then smooths the hard edges and a mirror tool creates a symmetric recess on the other side of the solid body. The emboss tool creates the extruded numbers near the ends of the wrench, meaning the measure of the tool. Then a fillet rounds the hard edges, finishing the model. Let's start from the beginning. In order to create the model of a wrench, first of all, you need a real wrench and a tool to get its measure, or a technical drawing with dimensions. The modeling tools required are very simple. I'm going to use some extrusions, some fillets, the emboss and the mirror tool. Create a new metric part file. Select the XZ plane and start a new 2D sketch to create the closed profile for the extrusions. I sketched a rectangular shape for the central body and two closed profiles which are the open end extremities of the wrench. In total, there are three closed profiles in the same sketch. Back in the modeling environment, use the extrude tool. Then select the central rectangular shape from the first sketch and type the height for the extrusion, creating a new solid body. Before accepting the operation, be sure that the option selected is symmetric. So once confirmed, the XZ plane will be not only the plane for the sketch, but also the symmetry plane for the wrench. For the second extrusion, you need once again the first sketch, which now is included in the previous feature. So select it in the browser, right-click it to make it visible and reusable. Now select the extrusion tool and the two open-end profiles of the sketch. Type the height for the extrusion and use the symmetric option as you have previously done. Now select the right face of the handle to create a new 2D sketch and create a slot. Back in the modeling environment, use the extrude tool selecting the cut boolean operator to subtract volume from the original body. Then with the fillet tool, round the hard edges of the recessed slot. To copy symmetrically the recessed slot, on the other side of the branch, use the mirror tool selecting both the extrusion and the fillet from the browser menu. The plane selected for symmetry is the XZ1. On a real branch, some numbers are usually embossed, showing the measures of the tool. 
In order to create extruded numbers, the right tool is the emboss feature. This tool requires a closed shape sketched on a plane. The shape I'm going to use are the numbers 17 and 19. The text tool is available in the sketching environment, so create a new sketch on the right face of the wrench. Using the text tool, simply set the font family and size for the numbers and create two texts. One is 19 and the other one is 17. Move the text to the right position, then exit the sketch environment and select the emboss tool. Select both numbers, set a height and a direction for the operation and click OK. Last feature of this tutorial is a fillet. Use the fillet for smoothing all the hard edges of the model. Freely select the ones you like and type a value as fillet radius or remove the arrow till you get the desired result. And here it is, the open-end branch is complete. Thank you for watching.